Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some more secret features, changes, updates, and more that came with the latest title update 1.27 along with the ill-gotten gains DLC. So I actually did a video on this yesterday and the response was amazing. You guys really liked it and you also left a ton of comments, over 500 comments and a lot of them were really helpful and I actually found more secret features because of you guys. So I'm making this video right now all because of you. So thank you so much for your continued support on this type of video. Like I said, if you guys do enjoy, be sure to leave a like and also comment if you know any secret features that I didn't mention in this video. So I'm going to be starting off with more of something that's interesting and less of something that's like a secret feature. I had no clue that the doors of the Pegasi Osiris could be blown off because they're the special gullwing doors, the ones that are seen on the Benefactor Sterling GT. And a user actually tweeted at me two photos of his Pegasi Osiris. It was pretty beat up and the doors were completely removed. So I don't know how you did that because the doors open up vertically. But anyways, I thought that was pretty cool and it gave the car a pretty interesting look with no doors, that's for sure. Sure. Now our first official secret feature and update actually involves the Hydra. As you guys know, the Hydra was that VTOL jet that was added with the heist update. It was something that we had wanted for almost, you know, a year and a half in Grand Theft Auto 5. And there's two brand new things with the Hydra that were added. One is that it now spawns at a helipad. You used to have to get it at an airport and it was really inconvenient. There was only like one or two spawn locations. Now because of this uh, jet's VTOL system, how it can take off and land vertically, you can now get this to spawn at any helipad ultra convenient you can see I've called mine in and it's at the vinewood dock right here super easy to call in very convenient one of the best features I think so far that was added with this update and also this is a kind of thing that will might make the Hydra a little bit overpowered missiles can now lock onto players in their cars this used to be something that you couldn't do uh, in the Hydra you would have to like free shot your missile if you wanted to kill another player driving a car however now it looks like you can just auto lock on missiles to players in their vehicle so I don't know how you guys feel about that does it make the Hydra overpowered now especially that it spawns at helipads and that it can lock onto other players in their vehicle so I'd really like to hear from you guys on what you think about that I've also been hearing reports that the Karuma, the armored Karuma, another vehicle from the heist update, has been more bulletproof. From what I've heard so far, the windows on the side are more, res more resistant to sniper rifle fire and they have been given a big upgrade. And this is kind of controversial because the armored Karuma was a controversial vehicle to start. The fact that it was armored and that it was very hard to shoot people out of. So given that it got an upgrade, does that mean that Rockstar thought that this vehicle was actually underpowered? That's kind of an interesting point to notice. So if you guys have the armored Kuruma, I actually don't. I just have the regular one. I'd like to hear from you guys. Is the armored Kuruma, do you notice it like, can it resist more damage? Can it take more explosives or more bullets? Really report to me in the comment section. I'd like to know what's up with that. Keeping with vehicles that came with the heist update, we're going to be talking about the Lampadetti Casco. And it looks like now, if you order a brand new Lampadetti Casco, they're arriving in garages as topless variants, which is interesting because the topless variants used to be only accessible through modded cars. Like, you would literally have to have someone mod this car into the game. Well, it looks like now they're being delivered through the mechanic and through the website service, the uh, Super Luxury Motorsports site that it's delivered as uh, topless that is crazy so if you like the topless variant of this car you might want to jump on this right now because who knows how long this is going to be a thing rockstar might hot fix this because i know i don't think there was supposed to be a topless variant of the casco i think there was only supposed to be the hard top version but if you want to get your hands on this it might be here for a limited time so go order one now and you could end up with a topless variant casco Something else that's pretty awesome is now armor sticks to you when you move from session to session. So if you go to the ammunition store and you happen to stumble upon some armor or you buy armor prepping for a big mission or whatnot, and then you're invited to a new lobby, well, that armor is going to stick with you. It's not going to disappear, which is what happened previously. So you can see I'm getting shot right here just to show you that my health and armor has gone down. And once I've been shot, I apply the armor. You can see my blue bar has gone all the way back up. I'm going to join a new session. And when I get into that new session you can see that I've still got a full blue of armor so it stays with you which is pretty cool it's a neat little feature that definitely should have been added into the game and finally the last thing I'm going to be talking about wasn't necessarily added into the game 
but it looks like it could be coming sometime shortly, and that is brand new t-shirts that were not featured in this weekend's event playlist and were not in crate shops. I'll put them on the screen right now. These are either new shirts that are going to be coming with a uh, upcoming social uh, club event weekend or the Ill-Gotten Gains DLC Part 2. Again, these are brand new Ill-Gotten Gains t-shirts that were not released with this update. So that's pretty interesting. Can we expect these in the future? Who knows? I think they would be pretty cool. They've got a good look to them. But anyways, that's all the information I have for you guys today regarding some of the most secretive and hidden features, changes, updates, and more that are added with title update 1.27 with the Ill-Gotten Gains DLC. Of course, let me know what you thought about this in the comment section down below. And if you have any more secret features that I missed, be sure to write them down there as well. If you did enjoy the video, a like rating would be awesome. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new to like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh.